Hi guys, in this quick tutorial we are going to discuss the chemical composition of bone. In our tutorial on structural level of organisation, we discovered that all things are compromised of different elements that are combined in different ways to form molecules. Well our bones are no different, so let's talk about what we'll find in our skeleton. So we've got down here that all things are composed of elements. The first thing we'll find in our skeleton is phosphorus. Now phosphorus is just a, uh, an individual element that can combine in a specific way to form phosphate. And we'll find phosphate all through our body, but something interesting we're going to see here is that our skeleton is going to contain over 99% of our body's phosphate. So we've got 99%. If we have a look on our pie chart down here, we can see that of the bone, phosphate is only going to account for roughly 17%. The next thing we'll take a look at is all the organic molecules that we'll find in our bones, such as collagen. Now these molecules are needed to give the bone its strength and flexibility. So just noting again that those organic compounds will be uh, collagen and other various proteins as well. Once again going over to our pie chart, we'll see that around 33% is organic molecules. So 33% organic. What about this large segment over here on the left? Well that's going to be calcium. The largest portion of our bones is comprised of calcium and once again over 99% of our total body calcium is going to be stored here. In the later videos when we start to discuss homeostasis, we will see how the bones play a vital role. So within our bone 39%, the largest portion is made up of calcium. Now we have a couple of trace elements within there as well and they're going to be potassium at 0.2%, which roughly adds up to be around 4% of our total body potassium. The other elements that make up our bone are roughly 0.7% sodium and 0.5% magnesium, which equal out to roughly 35% of our total sodium and 50% of our total bodily magnesium stores. Now we're just writing that all down here. If we have a look at this pie chart here, we can see that we've got 39% calcium, 17% phosphate, 33% of our organic compounds, and below 1% of all of our other elements. Now all of these elements I've got listed here, apart from the organic compounds, make up our inorganic compounds. So the last thing we will just draw up here is an arrow indicating all of those inorganic compounds. So we can see that there are many different compounds making up our bones and we can also see that the vast majority of our total bodily storage is within our bones. Now the reason this is this way is because our bones are going to act as a mineral reservoir. So there are many compounds. And the reason they're there is because we have a mineral reservoir. So we can see this medullary cavity is going to be filled up with our, our yellow bone marrow. And our bone marrow is going to house many of those compounds that we can pull from and deposit into as required so we can keep a, a constant level within our body. Now this act of maintaining a constant level is called homeostasis. We'll discuss how bones aid in homeostasis in another video. And as always, guys, I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.